On-the-scene coverage of AHA 13 is supported by Janssen Pharmaceuticals Incorporated. In the past, we would have said it's mostly important because people might think that their LDL cholesterol was, let's say, 60, but in fact it might be 80 or 90. So you really weren't treated as well as you thought you were. Uh, the equation just didn't work, and so the value of the lab reports is not really your true level of LDL cholesterol. So that was pertinent for the, our older guidelines, which focused on LDL targets. You know, we have new guidelines, but in the new guidelines, they say that a statin would be indicated if you have an increased risk and your LDL is between 70 and 190. So it, this same implication, you may, let's say your triglycerides 250 and your LDL 65, your real LDL is probably not 65. It's probably 75 or 80, and so therefore that person would merit drug therapy. So it's very pragmatic. It's something that the labs could automate, and I think it's a good idea.